I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Welcome to the Black Excellence and Abundance Channel. The Peter's Projection Map. This information is taken from the Oxford Cartographers. They're the leading experts in cartography and map branding. Maps not only represent the world, they shape the way we see it. The revolutionary Peter's Projection Map presents countries in their true proportion to one another. It has been adopted by the UN and it helped agencies, schools, and businesses around the world. So this map is very, very helpful and very popular throughout the world. What is the Peters map? Well, the Peters world map is an equal area cylindrical projection with standard parallels at 45 degrees, thus resulting in a distortion of shape which is stretched about the equator and squinched toward the poles. But having the great advantage that all countries are correct in size in relation to each other. This map is widely used in educational and business circles as an icon of the modern concept of world equality. 5,000 years of human history has brought us to the threshold of a new age. It is an age typified by science and technology, by the end of the colonial domination, and by a growing awareness of the interdependence of all nations and all peoples. Such a moment in history demands that we look critically at our view of the world as portrayed by the world map. Not surprisingly, to a significant degree, this view is based on the work of cartographers from an age when Europe dominated and exploited the world. Traditional map projections, such as the Makeda, which is shown here, have showed countries incorrectly in proportion to one another, exaggerating the size of high-latitude countries such as Canada and making tropical regions such as Africa appear much too small. Makeda's projection was designed in the 16th century for navigational use, but was adopted inappropriately for use as a world reference map. Most alternative projections now in use, such as Robinson, Van de Grinten, or the Eckers projection, still do not preserve the quality of equal area. The Peters map, the work of the German historian Alro Peters, provides a helpful corrective to the distortions of traditional maps. While the Peters projection map is superior in its portrayal of proportions and sizes, its importance goes far beyond questions of cartographer's accuracy. It challenges the view of the world. Now, some of the advantages of using the Peters projection map. The map shows all areas, whether countries, continents, or oceans, according to their actual size. Accurate comparisons become possible. All of the north-south lines run vertically on this map. Thus, geographic points can be seen in their correct geographical relationship. Northwest, Northeast, Southwest, or Southeast. Another great feature about this map is that all East-West lines run parallel. Thus, the relationship of any point on the map to its distance from the equator or to the angle of the sun can easily be determined. Now, I personally feel that one of the greatest features of the Peters projection map is its fairness to all peoples. By setting forth all countries in their true size and location, this map allows each one its actual position in the world. The Black Excellence and Abundance Channel, where black history is every day. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, remember, thou art